Well, hello everyone, it's Brian here at uh, the Step Into Group. So, this is just to go over how you can add your text, your images, and changes to your posts and possibly pages. Mainly it's going to be posts for your blog. And once you log in, you'll be presented with a menu on the left hand side here. And let's click on posts. We'll have a look at all posts. And we'll just choose one of them. Let's look at this one down here. You'll click edit. And once you go to edit, you'll be presented with this layout. Now, the page is in two parts. We have this part, which is your post and your title. And this part, which is some settings that you might want to change. Let's start with this. This is the, the title of the page. And in here, you can change the title. At the top here, after a change, you see I, I can't click that right now. It doesn't say update, but if I add just a space on that, you can see that changes to update. And so now you just click it to update it. This is a, an editor. And when you click on the editor, you can see you have all the normal tools to edit. And so in here, if I carry down, I can add a line in there. I can add another line in here and so on. And I can change this. I can then uh, make it bolded, italicized. I can uh, use bullet list numbers, I can do a, a, a block quote and then I can center it left or right, I can add a link. So if this needs to be a link to another page, I would just hover over it like that. I will add a link in here and if I want to go to, you have to actually start with HTTPS, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash google.com and hit return then that is now hyperlinked you can see it's come up blue and when i click on it it will go to google.com i can break that link by going here um, i can adjust it and i can remove it by going there or up here let's remove the link and it's gone from blue if i click this i'm going to toggle the toolbar and it opens up some more elements that you can use. So let's cover this again in here. I've got a text color. Let's make it red. Maybe you want to change it here to a larger heading. Heading two makes it larger in red. Let's change it back to paragraph. Whoops, heading one, paragraph. And let's change it back to black. Yeah. Now on this page, or on any page you should and this is really for your SEO this will be a title on the page and let's just take a look at the page actually let's go here the permalink is actually the link where it appears on Google so this is actually the permalink there if I right click that and open in a new tab it will come up with the page. We can take a look at the page. So the title, Young People's Mental Health and Parents' Concern. That was the title that we had up there. And then we have the text block on here, but there's no image yet on this page and there's no subtitles. Now, for SEO, it is a good idea to have subtitles. For example, here, I would add something like mental health survey. So let's just take a look at that. I have a survey, a survey. So, and the reason for this is it's how Google actually ranks your website. So if I type in the mental, mental health survey, and if I make that a H2 heading, like this, then it will stand out more. H2 headings, should be used down the page as much as you can. Never use more than one H1 heading. 
This will automatically be an H1 heading on the page. So if I update the page now and go to the real page and refresh it, you can now see I've got a heading mental health survey. And again here, I might want to put a conclusion. This is not such a long uh, text area, uh, but on longer ones, I would put a conclusion and add something else. I might want to put a pre-heading up here because this page is about mental health. We want to mention it a few times to help with our SEO. Okay, so let's say we want to add an image at the top. I want an average image there. So let's uh, carriage down and click there. So if I want to uh, add an image uh, on this, then I will go to add media, click add media, and I can either go to the media library where I will find images that are already here, there, or I can go to upload files. I can either drag a file in or select a file uh, by going to my PC by clicking that and that image will appear. So let's just go to the library and let's click on that for a second. Over here, you'll see the images come up and there's no alt text. Now the alt text also is part of SEO and it should really also be the name of the target on the page. So that would be mental health there. We don't need the caption because that will just appear on the image. We don't need that right now. And we don't need the description. So I'm just going to insert it into the post. And now you'll find it appears here. But it's a bit one-sided. And that's not going to look too good. If I update the page and refresh the page, it's there. It's one-sided. And it's quite a small image. Uh, maybe it'd be nice in the middle, but it'd be nicer if I were to wrap text around it. So if I click on the image here, you can see it's got some wrapping areas. So if I click this one, like this, it's taking it to the right-hand side of the text. And if I click it again and wrap that one, it's taking it onto the left-hand side of the text. So let's update the page again and go to the real page and see how it looks. Now you've got the image and you've got some text on the other side and that looks a little bit neater altogether. So simply that's how you make changes. Now you might want to copy and paste and that's really simple. You just copy and paste. However, if you copy and paste from a Word document, a Word document has its own programming coding within it. If you click this, if you copy from a Word document into the clipboard and then come here and you want to paste it in, first of all click this, paste as plain text, that will take any programming out because sometimes in Word it does distort your programming and it will screw up the page. On the other side we have over here a featured image for this page. That is a featured image right there. So let's go. Okay, so on the actual blog page itself, you can see this is the featured image here. There it is as the featured image. It's not an image that will appear in the text itself. When you add a featured image, it actually appears here on the blog page. And to change that image, you or add it, you either remove it or you can replace it. You click here again, you go back to the featured image library, you can upload a file from your computer, or you can go to the media library and add a file that's already in there. Now for discussion, this is quite important. Um, do you want to allow comments? or allow pingbacks and trackbacks? No, we don't. Do you want to allow comments? No, we don't. Uh, unless you do, and most people don't, uh, unless you want to get a conversation going. Um, but you do open yourself up to spam. Unfortunately, spammers 
tend to spam sites with comment boxes and put um, uh, disgusting comments up that you probably don't want your readers to, uh, to have a look at. Uh, your tags, well, a tag on this could be and should be mental health and the same is here, young people's mental health. So let's add a tag and let's call it um, young people's mental health. Put that in, if I right click it, then you can see that it has appeared there. You don't want too many tags, but uh, parents concerned mental health would be another good one. And it's kind of a secondary area for SEO. And then you've got to add categories to this. And here, when you click categories, you can see it flips up. Now this actually has two categories. It's actually best not to tick two categories, one only, because that does confuse the Google robots. So as education comes under general news, then we can either choose general news or education. I'm gonna leave it at education on this particular one, and it's not clicked anywhere else. So once that's done, we can then just update so that's it. That's how you put together your blog posts. If you have any questions, drop me a line. I'll certainly trying to help you out.